Hey guys, it's Cinder Ash here, and unfortunately, just due to time constraints for my editor, as well as just not trying to put the poor man through hell, I've decided that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to upload one out of the like 78 videos, 79 videos it takes to get from 1 1 to, you know, like 10 50. For Hollywood, you know, all that kind of stuff, uh, going up through the different levels of VP. And I think the best way to do it is just, you know, like I said, pick out my favorite, favorite one, maybe one that's super notable, maybe something where I learned something new. I feel like that's going to be the best way to do it. So, unfortunately, we're not going to have a super huge montage, especially just with time constraints. I hope you guys understand. But... If anything did happen, you know, obviously you guys be the first to know, but, um, I figured I'd share this one. So I actually met a person that is running seven characters all at once, all with unique names, all different color outfits, all looking the same and whatnot. And this person known as Majesty to me is the biggest fucking sweat lord I think I've ever met on Toontown. This is one of those people that, like, to a normal person on Toontown is the most annoying twat waffle possible. They are probably one of the most toxic people you'd ever meet in your entire life. They're the kind of person that would easily leave you behind in any sort of sense of the word they would not care if you lived or died and they would laugh at you the entire time kind of person you know the the typical elitist look uh the typical elitist type of person but in reality i didn't see that at all when i uh, played with this person when i talked to them i still talk to them on occasion they play league of legends now they've uh, pretty much have given up on toontown for the time being um, and it's understandable. Right now, Toontown's in that awkward transition phase of where they know what content they're bringing to the table. They just need to actually produce the content and get it out to us. And granted, they've already kind of produced it. They're just, you know, flexing it, fixing it up, making sure it's solid and it works when it actually goes to live servers for us. And then we'll actually be continuing the, uh, the Iron Man once that content drops. So, we'll just have to wait. We'll have to see what kind of nights and neat stuff they bring to the table for us. And I, I can't wait to can't wait to see it all uh, unveil and unfold for all of us. So, as you can see here, um, we're just kind of blowing through the cogs. Nothing spectacular. You know, they got their seven multi-boxes up. And honestly, the whole reason that they even did this was because of... Uh, the fact I was recording this episode. Um, they wanted to be a part of it. They thought that what I was doing with this Toontown Iron Man was impeccable. They thought that it was insane that nobody had even thought to try this before, yet alone more insane that they were willing to risk their life with a random person who may or may not green them. And we're also just, like, up for seeing how it actually plays out from here. They were surprised in the whole aspect of everything. They were just going crazy with it all. Um, they were hoping to see, you know, how it's going to look when I start doing CEOs. Because they told me that CEOs are basically where noobs go to die. If you are new to this game and you don't know how to play the game, it's over. You will die unless people want to help you. And obviously, I want to not be the person that dies to this uh, or to any of the content. But it's interesting that he told me, basically, if I want to succeed, I need to get better. I need to start pushing myself to learn all the different mechanics, 
I should change my organic lure to something else. You know, they explained all the differences between organic throw, organic sound, uh, organic trap, and what you should take, what you would think you uh, would be best for you. They, they broke it all down for me, and even though they recommended that I take organic sound, I went against their wishes and I actually went with organic throw. And I think organic throw is still not like second best. If, if sound, like organic sound in particular, especially for the way that Toontown Rewritten is worked and played, I believe that it is the best um, to just make it organic. When you have four organic foghorns going into like an FO or any other kind of content where like cogs get above level 12 from what I've heard and you do the cog math because level 12 cogs have, I believe, 193 HP or 196, somewhere around there. I, I, I've forgotten my cog math because I, I, uh, I haven't played in a hot minute. I've been on break trying to, to get my house clean and um, I just got a steam index uh, I'm going to be streaming Skyrim in VR, where I can't leave VR until I 100% Skyrim, and there's going to be some really crazy challenges there, too. So if you if you enjoy the fact of, you know, me doing crazy content like this, where I try to beat something without dying, and you also enjoy Bethesda or, like, Skyrim in general, please, by all means, come say hi, talk to me, you know, let's... Uh, meet up. Uh, I'll be streaming it here on YouTube. Who knows how long it's going to take me. I'm estimating a minimum of 18 hours, but I'm also allowing you guys to, to mess with me. You can donate money to make my life harder. You can also donate money to entirely reset my run. You'll be able to do a lot of anything, um, just to, just to have fun, goof around. You'll also be able to talk to me live. So you know, if you want to talk to me about Toontown, or if you want to talk to me about another MMORPG, or just anything in general that you might think, oh yeah, no, I'd love to talk to Cinder Ash about it and just kind of hear what they have to say. By all means, stop on by. I'm gonna I'm gonna be there, and uh, you guys are just gonna have to. See how the whole thing plays out. How long I'll be stuck in VR. And then, you know, uh, at the end of it all, we'll, you know, gather it together. We'll montage it. We'll cut it up. Who knows? It could be a lot of fun. But as you can see, uh, back to the video at, at itself. We, at this point, we're doing uh, Stagger Strat. So, the reason we're doing Stagger Strat is pretty reasonable his other side isn't going very well and he wants to make sure that this side is the last one up because it's just me and just him um he had some issues on the other side they needed to take care of a cog there was something going on and then he got pulled away from his computer uh, i think his dog started to choke on something I can't remember exactly what happened, but he said he'd be right back, and that we'll just hold off on here, we'll just do some lures, and then worst case scenario, we'll do something else. But we're on our last round. Um, just to get some damage off and get that damage boost, I'm just going to throw a cake. Uh, even though, you know, his characters won't be back for a hot minute, it's okay. They'll be able to just recover me. I'll be able to recover any of them that get injured. And we can just relure it. And then he can go back. Or I could also just do the same of uh, tossing the cake and luring it. It's been a hot minute since I, I did this VP. Um, like I said, I've been working on Cashbot. Cashbot's really hard. It takes up a, a decent amount of time. And it's, it's just something that... Uh, I have to, you know, work on. I heard CEO and CJ are also going to take forever. But, man, this one, 
in general took me a month. Now granted, because we're going in order of release content, that means I couldn't do FOs. That means I couldn't do anything outside of just doing buildings and factory runs for merits. So anything that wasn't a short, anything that wasn't a long, anything that wasn't a building, it was no good to me. So even though those could have brought me a ton of merit, even though those could have brought me anything, way more, I spent a month straight, 12 hours a day, every day, for a month, doing VP. It was the most depressing time of my life. I can't even tell you how awful it was of just doing VP, doing the factory runs, and then having to go do another VP, do more factory runs, do VP. Everything was gray. All I saw, besides for other tunes, was just gray. And it tanked my mental health so hard. If you think that, like, the Iron Man is difficult, level up a fresh character, like my character. Just go into VP and only do factories to get to your VP stuff. And you will lose your goddamn mind. I am telling you. It is the worst feeling in the entire world. Just going through and having to see that gray and there's nothing else you can do. It is awful. It is godforsaken terribleness. And I, I'm not gonna lie, after, after I completed my VP, I took a break. I took an entire week to not play or do anything. Thankfully, Shelter and uh, his other tunes came back at this point, which is great. But I took an entire week break because I couldn't I couldn't come back to Toontown after. Like just the the thought of going into Cashbot because I've never done Cashbot up until like you know after I finish this up because I believe I'm on like suit 47 for this so it's not like too far from me finishing up. But I got a. I, I, I got there eventually, and I was like, oh shit, there's actually color. And it was so nice, and I, I had a great time. I had a great time just going through Cashbot and learning the, the different mints. Learning that there's different floors, the different floors have different mints, uh, rewards. So even though that you could go into a coin and get, let's say, like, 400... For some floors, other floors you can get upwards to 600. And it's kind of weird and silly the way that it works. I just don't know. It, it was it was something else. Now, if you, if you notice by this point, uh, between the last episode to this one, um, it's no longer Christmas. Uh, my gloves are green. I, I believe it's St. Patrick's Day. So that gives you a good understanding of where we're at. Because, like I said, post-Christmas, I had my surgery where I was dining out for a month. So I started to come back towards, like, the middle of February around uh, St. Patrick's Day, give or take, for this content. I couldn't believe how much craziness was uh, going on with the event. And the fact that my gloves weren't white was so cool because I I don't like the white gloves. I wish that we could actually just change them at will to whatever color we want um, because they're so in tuned and a part of us. It, it feels like it should be an option in the, the character creator. Maybe I'm just a little nitpicky about that, but that's something I would do. There's a lot of things that I would uh, obviously change about this game after having done it in an Iron Man. Um, I feel that the game is too easy, and I know that's another controversial opinion, but, um, a lot of the people that do play this game are not children anymore. Let's be honest. They're not children looking for Toontown to play Toontown. The youngest person that I've met on Toontown was 22, and they were in college, and they were talking about how they used to play Toontown, like back in 2008 
So these are these are grown adults. And I understand there's a lot of things that we can't change and a lot of things we can't do because Disney will come shut us down like uh, the other Toontown variants. But like at a, at a at a core basis, the game is really really easy. Um and I wish they would up the difficulty a little bit on some of this stuff. Like, I know he's trying to probably psych me out about CEO, but I doubt CEO is even that difficult. I feel like CEO is just going to be a, a walk in the park. won't be an issue. But uh, he's also telling me in voice, because I, I just muted the entire VOD. Um, just out of uh, privacy concerns for Majesty if you didn't want his voice to be uh, in the game or in the video, so I just I just cut it. Um, and, just, and I'm doing a voiceover for this, obviously. But he also taught me how to stun, so if you see me in VPs now, whenever I'm like running VPs, I'm always in the back stunning. Um, I never realized how easy it was until somebody taught me. And I think that's like what a lot of the game boils down to is there are the people who are willing to teach, like myself. And there are the people who look down upon you for not knowing it, even though it may be your first time. Now, I understand that, you know, once you hit, like, above 100 laugh, you should know most of the core mechanics of the game. And I, I agree personally. I feel like by 100 laugh and above, where you've put in such a significant amount of time that you should know a lot of this content. You should know exactly what kills, how much it does, and all that. Well, that wraps it up for the video. I hope you guys take care. You guys stay awesome. Can't wait to see you with more episodes before we hit the CFO montage slash video. But you guys are awesome. Thank you for all the support. It's crazy how close we are to the finish. You guys have no idea how 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 f close we are to finishing up Toontown. Once we get through CJ, once we get through CEO, and that's it, really. Except for golf and go kart, you know, it's not too bad. But like always, like I said, you guys take care, stay awesome.